She's a beaut, ain't she? All this time, she ain't never let me down. I just hope she's around when he's old enough to fly. Ooh, my boy. I mean, I hope it's a boy. I just want him to fly her like I do. Not like my dad or my grandpa. They flew in the war, so I didn't have to. But now, I don't know if he'll ever have the chance. Not with these around here. People are scared, man. And I may never have gone to war. If them Peggy's come after my family, sure as hell we'll give them one. up here, you know. Had my first kiss out back with some dumb cowboy. <laughs> Almost got caught by my dad. <laughs> he loved this place. It wasn't all easy. But he always made sure that here, you could speak your mind. And then they showed up. We're here to help, they said. He believed them. And then they took my mom, my brother. And dad was never the same. And now what? You wanna take this place too? No. This place is ours. Woe to the man who leads my flock astray, says the Lord. We were given so much. This land, this life, our freedom. What's left of it now? Our people felt abandoned, grew weary they needed our help and we didn't listen but he did told them exactly what they wanted to hear but those falsehoods lies his poison it's driven them from pasture from the righteous path woe to the man who leads my flock astray if I am not their shepherd, then I must be the wolf. feel that we are creeping towards the edge. I know that you are out there. And I know that you are in pain. But my children, I'm here to tell you that suffering is a choice and you can choose a better path. We want you, we accept you, and we will take you. Willingly or not. And some of you may fight. But in the end, you will thank us. I am your father. And you are my children. Show 
to the gate. For you are my children and I am your father.